The arts. What are we to make of the arts? Indeed, what are the arts? How can we define what we mean by the arts? Is art the expression of higher human spirit, or is it simply the poncy stuff? <laughs> <laughs> what are we to make of this? Apart from a bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> this is art with a capital F. <laughs> when we consider what have been accepted as great works of art. Take Constable's The Haywain. Now, this is basically a picture of some prat who's driven his cart into a pond. <laughs> Van Gogh's pictures sell today for millions and millions of pounds. Here's one of them. It's a chair. <laughs> Exciting, huh? Van Gogh is the only major artist to have got his models from Texas home care. <laughs> But what of probably the most famous painting of all time, the Mona Lisa? Well, look at it carefully. That awkward pose, that dark background, that strange half-smile. This can only be a 16th century passport photo. <laughs> <laughs> this was the really crap one she used on her travel card. <laughs> what of other art forms? What of the world of the theatre? The trouble with the theatre is that many people have put off it for life by being taken to see pantomimes when they are children. But we should not take pantomimes too lightly. Underneath Cinderella is a damning indictment of crypto-matriarchal monarchist societies. <laughs> Jack in the Beanstalk is a hard attack on the use of chemical fertilisers. <laughs> and Puss in Boots is a story about a cat that wears boots. <laughs> The theatre also means Shakespeare. Now, many people find Shakespeare boring, but in fact, the Bard came up with many things that we still all know today. For example, Shakespeare invented the doctor doctor joke. Physician, physician, I keep thinking I'm a pair of curtains. Well, fire upon you for a Rhenish knave, Sirrah. <laughs> <laughs> that may not seem funny now, but it wasn't then either. <laughs> Here, we must also mention ballet. At the ballet, you must be very careful what you say. Do say things like... Karyarov, exquisite in his pas de deux. Do not say... Who's the woofter with the big packet? <laughs> Such remarks immediately give you away as either a Philistine... Or a young Conservative. <laughs> The rest of us. Well, what with Pavarotti and Nigel Kennedy in the charts, it does seem as if we are becoming more and more cultured. Who knows if this trend continues? We may even find that our football supporters want to join in the trend. We love you, England. We do. We love you, England. We do. But we acknowledge that other nations feel just as strongly about their teams and we sympathise with that loyalty. We appreciate the opportunity to travel abroad and experience other cultures. Tomorrow night, we're going to see another butterfly. Mind you, afterwards, we are going to get completely rat-assed. <laughs> <laughs>